Hello and welcome back. This is episode two of Five Things. Today we're going to be talking about precision landings and five things I think can help you with your precision landing. Let's take a look what we got. One area neglected in landing is the backswing of the arms. The arms want to backswing right before the landing. As you're landing, if your arms are back, you'll swing them forward and it actually helps you to push your hips back more so you can land behind the obstacle more and disperse that energy upon impact. You can see my arms go up at the beginning and most people leave it at that. But if you get that backswing in there, then right as your legs hit toward the end, you'll actually be able to disperse that impact a lot easier upon landing. The glutes are the connection point between the upper and lower half of your bodies. If you think about squeezing them upon landing, you'll have a safer and stronger position, as well as take the stress off of your knees more and put it to the hips. Control on the neck upon landing will make it easier for you to have a stronger back. It doesn't mean you can't look down, it just means keep your head more neutral and then use your eyes to look down versus your whole head. Making sure to have active ankles upon landings will make it so that you don't have compressed ankles or sprains as easily. A lot of long-term practitioners started out with doing the ball of foot landings with heels up super high. This isn't necessarily a bad thing as you want to have strength within all types of range of motion of your ankle. But by making yourself all the time land in this position can overstress the Achilles and overstress the knees. Make sure that you can keep those heels as low as possible while still maintaining active ankles and you will keep the stability and range of motion strong. Extending your legs and aiming your feet toward the target right before landing will make it easier for you to absorb the impact. It also will make it safer since if your legs land directly underneath you, you will actually end up landing forward because your chest will keep traveling forward. Extend your legs toward the object, absorb, it will make it a lot easier for you and safer. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'll be hitting out more content as I see that people are enjoying this stuff more and request more stuff along the way. I will do my best to get stuff out as regular as possible. And of course, the more you like it, the more I see people engaged in what I'm doing, the more likely I'm gonna put out more stuff later. Thank you and have a great day.